The Toxic Avenger in 1984. Storyline. Trimoville has a monstrous new hero. The Toxic Avenger is born when mop boy Melvin Junko falls into a vat of toxic waste. Now, evildoers will have to deal with him. Directed by Michael Herz and Lloyd Kaufman. Written by Lloyd Kaufman and Joe Ritter, the screenplay. Released April 11th, 1986. Tagline, not all monsters are scary to people. Not if it's one fighting crime in the Garden State. Here's the cast. Andre Miranda as Sarah. Mitch Cohen as the Toxic Avenger. Jennifer Baptist as Wanda. Cindy Manian as Julie. Robert Pritchard as Slug. Gary Schneider as Bozo. Pat Ryan as Mayor Peter Belgoody. Mark Torgel as Melvin Junko. Dick Martinson as Officer O'Clancy. And Chris Leano as Walter Harris. And the cast goes on. All right, folks. Believe it or not, I never saw this until two days ago. Don't ask me why. I just didn't. And I'm doing a trauma run right now. Uh, so that being said, the Toxic Avenger has a lot of uh, haters and more cult followers. Now, my opinion on this film is I went into this film thinking it's probably some typical corny ass trauma film. Trauma film. Which it is, but. I like this film. I mean, considering that it's 1984, filmed in 83, and watching it in 2015, 30 some years later, and it still holds up. You know, the Toxic Avenger character is very unique, creative, and cool. Now, the the idea of the film that I think is cool about it is he's a crime fighter. You know, and of course, his girlfriend is blind. <laughs> I can see why. But I like the idea of his voice. It's so fucking hilarious. That deep voice. I won't hurt you. That being said, Melvin, in the beginning of the film, is a nerd. And he's a mop boy. And of course, these typical 80s films with the jocks and the bitches, you know, harass him. And they play a trick on him. And, uh... It backfires, and he jumps out a window and lands in a barrel of toxic waste. That's how the Toxic Avenger is born. I love the music in these trauma films. You know, the acting is what it is. I mean, it's decent. The storyline's cool. It's well shot. You know, for the era and for trauma. You know, it's nothing spectacular, but it's definitely a cult film. And it is a phenomenal film. Even 30-some years later... I like this film. You know, you might think I'm crazy that I didn't see it until now, but I'm glad I did because I like The Toxic Avenger. It's very unique. You know, you have a a disgusting-looking guy who is the uh, town's uh, hero of fighting crime. And then, of course, you have the crooked mayor, and you have the crooked this... And they try to make him out to be a monster because the police force is not doing nothing and he's making the police force look bad. And the kills in this film I think is pretty cool. You know, it's just a fun film. So if you haven't seen The Toxic Avenger, definitely check it out. And if you have, go back and watch it again 30 years later. It's really cool. I dig it. Fun film. So there you go. The Toxic Avenger in 1984. It's well worth a watch. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 6.5 out of 10. You know, it is what it is. I dig it, and I can't wait to watch the sequel. Sequels. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.